Shortly after the Azmio leadership announced that it will skip the meeting at the Safari Park Hotel citing lack of honesty. <laughs> In a statement on Tuesday, the opposition outfit said the prevailing circumstances in the country required its people to approach God with humility and speak to Kenyans truthfully about the issues facing the country. This is why, Honorable Speaker, you see the Honorable Junette. I have been praying for the Honorable Junette to show up again in Parliament. And I am happy he's here today, Honorable Speaker. With those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I invite all of you to join us in the prayer breakfast. National Prayer Breakfast is just one of those uh, breakfasts that you've held over the years. It's now become a tradition. The speaker, it's an occasion when the nation needs to reflect, really, on uh, where it's standing, the gains has made, and perhaps uh, what lies ahead. So it's an occasion which should be, in my view, uh, made to remain solemn, solemn as a uh, uh, an event for thorough reflection. During the debate in Parliament, the ASMIO leadership said honesty is a virtue lacking from the Kenya Kwanzaa government, which they said is not being frank about the challenges currently facing the country. That we, uh, to, we suspend the sitting of tomorrow morning so that we can have the prayer breakfast. Mr. Speaker, we have been having this prayer breakfast now for quite some time when I've been in this parliament. It is very important, Mr. Speaker, that people come together, pray together, reconcile together, so that the country can move forward. But, Mr. Speaker, this uh, prayer also is a very expensive one. It's not the ordinary prayer, Mr. Speaker. The kind of food they, they serve there, Mr. Speaker, I don't know whether it comes through prayers also, because it's not a small thing, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I don't know how we can get feedback whether God has accepted that prayer. It's what I've been looking for for the last five years, Mr. Speaker. But having said, Mr. Speaker... And the entire leadership of the Azimio Laomoja One Kenya Coalition will not be in attendance. So they, they, they will be engaged in other national business or duties elsewhere. That was the standing. Uh, the, the entire Azimio leadership in the House, indeed, plus its membership, uh, will be in attendance. And we hope that this particular national prayer breakfast will be of a different kind. Because in the past, we haven't lived to the spirit of the national prayer breakfast. Many times we have gone there, made lofty speeches, high-sounding remarks. At the end of the day, we go back to our usual selves. So let's hope that this event of tomorrow will be a, a different one. So that from there, we can actually, for sure, embark on a renewal of the nation. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, you know we may differ in very many things, as is expected anyway in politics. But one thing that is for sure a fact is that we all need God, Mr. Speaker. We all need God. And we must continually pray to God, collectively and individually, so that this country can be rescued. You never know, Mr. Speaker, this prayer event might actually soften people's hearts and perhaps uh, lead to the withdrawal of the offending financial finance bill 23 you never know <laughs> you never know the outfit however said as mere members of parliament are free to attend the prayer service Honorable Speaker, with those few remarks. National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Ichungwa has revealed that the praise for the opposition co principles daily. Speaking in Parliament during Tuesday's National Assembly proceedings, Ichungwa said he will continue praying for the opposition leaders. Honorable Speaker, with those few remarks, I take opportunity to invite all of you, including my good friend, the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, my good friend. Uh, the Honorable Raila Odinga, our former Prime Minister, to the prayer breakfast, and should they not be there, we shall pray for them. And I want to encourage Kenyans and all of us to pray for each other, just like every day I pray for the former Prime Minister and my good friend, the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. Every day I do, and I'll continue to pray for them, Honorable Speaker. Just as I pray for my President and my Deputy President, I pray for our leaders. As I also pray, this is why, Honorable Speaker, you see the Honorable Junette. I have been praying for the Honorable Junette 
to show up again in parliament and i am happy he's here today honorable speaker we I, I have heard the majority leader he said he has prayed for me so that i can come back mr speaker one prayer that i know has not been accepted is that one because <laughs> he, he, he he just called me he never prayed he told me but there's some business in the house business come back to the house we discuss that's not a prayer mr speaker and i know i know even from the, his physical appearance, Mr. Speaker, he cannot qualify to pray for anyone. You know the way he, he, he appears, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, lastly, I want to say, I, I want to say that uh, let us not also overuse prayers. Sometimes we might burden God with small things because he has given you brain to do it. But if you continue praying on everything, Mr. Speaker, and you are a doctor, you can treat someone like Dr. Pokosi, Mr. Speaker, but you are telling me go and pray so that you get uh, healed. That one I will not accept, Mr. Speaker. So let us, to Zimbabwe Mungu Pia Sahana, let us pray for important things that we need help from God. The National Prayer Breakfast was supposed to be held on May 31st, but was rescheduled to June 7th in what National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula said was occasioned by factors beyond control. Thank you very much. Honorable Junette, God has never complained about I know. <laughs> Its prayer service comes at a time the government and the opposition as Mio are embroiled in a tussle over four issues the Raila Odinga-led alliance says the Kenya Kwanzaa side has shown no will to resolve. <laughs> For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, my name is Mary Magdalene Nekesa.